Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where we're in store for a spectacular evening. We're here at the Dubai Autodrome with Supercars, Majlis and Pirelli for some fun tonight. You can see the hypercar lineup behind. I'm going to be going for some laps on track in my AMG GT Black Series. I've been looking forward to this, but finally here at the Dubai Autodrome to see what it's all about. We've got the Bugatti Chiron alongside. We've got the Koenigsegg Zijin, the Agera. Lovely paintwork on that. We've got the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. We've got the McLaren P1. There are STOs, 765LTs, Ferraris, Porsches, you name it, all part of the Supercars Majlis event tonight, which I can tell you right now is going to be awesome. So let's do this. We've got the photo shoot quickly now, and then it'll be time for some laps tonight with the GT Black Series. We've started this evening with a bit of a photo shoot and a parade, and now we're setting off. <laughs> they very kindly allowed me to be up with the hypercars. The P1 has taken pole position, we could say, at the moment. We've got the Veyron Grand Sport alongside, going into handling mode, spoiler popping up. We're going to have some faster laps a little bit later, of course, but for the moment, look at this. How often do you follow a Chiron, an Agera, and a P1 on a racetrack? I mean, even if it's at slow speeds for photos. This is pretty cool. It's obviously night, we're driving the club circuit today, the club circuit being the part of the Dubai Autodrome that's floodlit, of course it's pretty dark here. But yeah, we're just cruising <laughs> with a Bugatti alongside and a Bugatti in front. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> ah, that's gonna sound good as well. Of course, this car, probably actually if I do that, it gets a little bit better. This car has 850 horsepower with the Opus upgrades. That has 1,001. All of those have even more. In fact, there's a lot of horsepower around this circuit right now. Um, as we come down towards the end of the straight. So yes, this is the photo cruise session. Then we'll head back, see some of the other cars, and then it's gonna be time to put this through its paces and to use a bit of the track telemetry that you have in here, which I've not done on the GT Black Series yet. Um, you go into track pace, there we go. The race setting for use on racetracks only. Well, conveniently, we're on a racetrack exactly where we need to be for this. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Look at that. P1s just look mega, absolutely mega. Let's take the curves. Okay, we'll keep it a little bit more serious until we get back round and go from there. We've reached the end of our parade lap, which I think means all of the cars are basically going to line up in the paddock area. That P1 looks so nice and fun story. Many years ago, the owner of that P1 actually allowed me to drive that car. I will never forget that. What a day that was. Completely unplanned and just totally awesome. Um, but when everybody's lined up, we need to do briefings, helmets, all of that stuff, get the car ready, tire pressures, etc., etc., etc. A front splitter out on this. The front splitter on this car needs to be pulled out, which is a manual process. And then, um, then I guess it's gonna be track time, which is gonna be pretty insane. But this is cool with all of the cars coming past. We've got an ILM Turbo S, there's an SF90 Stradale Assetto Fiorano just there. I need to stand out of the way of the two STOs, sat in green. Viola Pacife, by the way, the other colour scheme I was considering for mine. There's a Pista 675LT, Novatec, and Largo. <laughs> sounds mental, F12. Yeah, you can see how this carries on. We have another Turbo, We've got a F8. Or Lambo's coming past. This is very nice seeing all of the cars rolling on through here. Um, all taking part in tonight's run. <laughs> Evo Spider, GTR, AMG GTR. That's not so standard, I'm guessing, by the look of it. Everybody, 720S. Yeah, you get the point. Pretty cool lineup of cars. That's a nice color. You quite, can't quite see that. Satin green. Cool, 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 cool. GD3, Nano Wonder 2. <laughs> familiar car, blue and pink, unusual standout spec. Yeah, they keep on rolling through. Anyway, I think we've got to go and do all the sign-on stuff and then we'll be uh, lined up shortly. I've just done a few sighting laps, getting comfortable with driving the club circuit in the dark. Of course, it is very cool being out on a race circuit under floodlights. I've also set up the track pace so that it's now familiar with the layout here and that's all set and doing its thing. And of course, the tire pressures having gone up significantly have just been taken down thanks to the Pirelli guys who are here. So we're in Sport Plus just for the first kind of outing to get a little bit familiar and bring you along for some laps here and then we'll dial it up a notch, put it into dynamic handling and race 
and those things in just a moment. So out through the pit garages we go. I'll have to get my wristband checked and then drive up towards the exit. All good there. So out we go. Tire temperatures are very high at the moment, but all is well with the world. Got the thumbs up, so off we head. We're in auto at the moment on the gearbox. It works fantastically in here. Out of the pit lane, onto the Dubai Autodrome. This thing is ballistic. It's absolutely ballistic. It makes no sense that a car should be as fast as this is. Like I said, just the outlap I always take is a bit of a warming up lap. I can break significantly later than the uh, indicators that they have kindly put out for us with the amount of braking power that this thing has. So the club circuit, rather than going straight on, goes up through a bit of a tight technical chicane up the hill here, which is actually really quite cool. Use some of the curbs on both sides as we go pretty light through there. And then we've got a oh, traction there, massively intervening. That is one of the issues if you keep traction control on. So we come round to the penultimate corner where you have the pit exit. Down towards the hotel, the final corner of the circuit. And then this is where it gets a little bit wild as you open out onto the straight, put your foot to the floor, and the numbers start building dramatically. I'm going to go up into race, I'm going to go into ESC Sport. I mean, 250 kilometers an hour, we'll get to 260, and I'm going to get on the brakes. 260 Ks, we're going on 160 miles an hour. So we come in heavy into T1. The grip, the grip is phenomenal. That left side. This car is brilliant. Perhaps a little bit late on the brakes there, but it sets us up a little bit more as we come through here. Gosh, and the braking, the braking. This is just mega. Just absolutely mega. It's very, very, very loud on board here. So come on round then, unwind on the exit, and away we go down the straight. It's so ferociously fast. This is absurd. I'm getting actually on the brakes a little bit earlier down the straight, just because I don't want to have to go 100% on the brakes. Give myself a small margin for error. This is a car that I'm taking around the world after all.
that's going to be me done. Let's take it easy, 109.3. Wow. Okay, cool down. <laughs> Do I need to catch my breath for GT3 behind? Nice. <laughs> oh, this car is absolutely ludicrous. This car, I'm a bit sweaty. It's so fast. <laughs> oh, it's just an absolute riot. It's an absolute riot. Wowzers, I need to go and get this cooled down and chill for a minute because I don't know what to say. <laughs> what an extremely cool thing to drive, this car at Dubai Autodrome. I am rather pleased with myself right now. Never did I think I would drive one of my cars here. Around a circuit I've been to in many other cars that were already here, but not in one that I brought over from the UK. Oh dear, so let's chill it down a notch, take it easy and return back to the pits. Back in the pit lane, and I tell you what's cool, the paddock I should say, the P1 has been out on track, so has the Veyron Grand Sport, which is over that side, Turbo S coming through. So the P1's been doing some good laps, which is always quite fun to see. Um, GT3 RS MR, so a very, very, very Whoa. quick car suited for the purpose. And my car, which has probably now stopped its fans running, they've been aggressive up to this point. No, they're still running. It's still running the fans. It's been running for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm not even sure. Of course, with the extended splitter pulled out and the supporting pieces in place, and probably some fairly worn tyres, I would imagine now, after some fairly quick laps, if I can say so myself, at the wheel of this thing. It's so good, it's so quick. I mean, lots of these cars, obviously, these days are very fast. 720S, for example, even the 570S is a very, very fast car. This is just insane. I think I, I, think I can confidently say, actually, it's probably even faster around here than P1, yes, must be faster around here than the P1. Must be probably the fastest car at this event. The Senna would go faster, for sure, but I think the GT Black Series is right up there. It's um, it's pretty mega, pretty epic. Off goes the P1 again. In fact, I'm gonna run to the pit wall because I'd quite like to see that in action, out on track. You don't see that very often. That's a rather nice AMG GTR, comes the other way. Sat in brilliant blue or the brilliant blue Magno. Sounds grumbly too. That sounds so good. The 458. Four and a half litre naturally aspirated V8 sounding like that. Gently does it down the pit lane. Volcano yellow McLaren P1. 916 horsepower. Hybrid V8. <laughs> Looks so good, but they're not running in race mode, just in track with the wing in the slightly raised arrow position. Good to see though. And then over this side, two cars completely at home on the track, 911 GT3 and the AMG GTR, and that was a 720S by the way, it just went flying down the straight. Things are starting to quieten down here, but I pulled over the car under the bright light to excuse the sound of the generator off in the background, but it's time for me basically to pack this away which means popping the front splitter back in, which is not the easiest thing in the world to do. You have to loosen and unscrew the metal supports, but then to slide it in and make sure it actually locks in is a challenge. They didn't make this easy. And another side thing is that obviously out here, it's got a little bit dusty as you can see. So that's gonna be in the way when sliding it in. Not the easiest. One negative. We have to find a negative about the GT Black Series. It's that. The positives are that it's ludicrously fast and I do quite like the track pace telemetry setup, the data it gives you, live delta as well, quite hard to discuss while driving fairly aggressively out on track, but it does a very nice job of communicating what's going on with that. Just sat back in here for a moment. I'll need to go and just redo my tire pressures, but it gives you so much info live, and the live delta is obviously priceless if you're chasing lap times and that kind of thing when out driving 
just load this back up. I think it lets me bring up my previous data. We shall see in just a moment what exactly it lets me see. And obviously this is the previous generation Mercedes system. A newer car would have the newer updated system as opposed to this generation of the MB interface. I think it's taking a little bit longer than I expected, but let's see what happens. Let's see if this is gonna load up at some point. Starting track pace still. I didn't obviously play around with this, the lovely nine stage AMG traction control, which you can do from that, or you can do with buttons on here. You press and hold this and then it activates. And then you've got your selector there on the screen and you start playing around with this, and go through those because I'm not a hero. And as I said, this car is needed for many adventures to come. Um, if we go into track race, I think I can look at my lap times. I see, here we go. Dubai Club, to see all of my times that I've driven. Actually, does it list every time from my two outings? Yes, it does, that's quite cool. Best time, track length, top speed, etc. All logs, in fact, on my quickest lap, it was not my top speed, so I drove 262.6 kilometers per hour today. A couple of even quicker ones here. That's quite fast for down that straight and obviously there we uh there we go and i suppose if i click into this oh you can compare two laps to one another i should have done this before that's quite fun isn't it to have all of that and set your different parameters and what you would like track overview nice really 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 cool what you can do with this so very fun right let me hop out go tuck away that front splitter and uh, i suppose we'll be heading towards the end of the day for now there are still a few cars around not so many but we've got the p1 just sitting over there we have a lovely sf90 just here counting down the days believe me but what an evening this has been with supercars Magilis at the pirelli event here at the dubai autodrome driving the gt black series out on track it has been phenomenal and i knew it would be obviously having driven the nurburgring with it and donington park and now it's done the dubai autodrome just casually many thousands of miles away what would be really cool that sounded quite cool. The SF90 starting, off it goes. I can't wait for that. What will be really cool is when it's done, the track's on even more confidence in the future. That's the plan. For today though, I am exhausted. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone here for the hospitality for an amazing evening at the Dubai Autodrome. And thank you, of course, to you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing that being driven in a little bit of anger out on the club circuit here at the Dubai Autodrome. That's it for now though. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.